the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, please welcome your host, the one and only Big Blue Jabroni! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Big Blue Jabroni here with another video. Uh, just a quick housekeeping uh, update. The Pick'em Jabroni 3 contest right now, first place is Mike Nixon. Uh, but there is still a lot of season left to go and still a lot of picks still to be made by a lot of people. But currently right now he is sitting in first place by himself. Uh, just going to cover some of the main storylines from the week. The big one coming out today, Will Hernandez has contracted uh, COVID-19 and he is does not seem to be, he's not going to be available on Monday night. Uh, looks like we're going to see some of the draft pick Shane Lemieux from this year that uh, some guys were really excited to see going into camp, uh, me included. I thought he might even possibly uh, compete for that starting center job. But they even talked about earlier uh, in the week that they were going to try and rotate him in uh, and try and give him some looks uh, with a rotation of Zeitler and Will Hernandez. But now with Will Hernandez out, you're going to expect him to kind of move into that left guard spot and see a lot of snaps this week. Uh, going against that Bucks defense, which is loaded with talent, uh, led by Shaq Barrett and our own former uh, Jason Pierre-Paul. So they're going to be really going after him there, uh, especially with all the momentum they have going now. They're first in their division. They see an easier opponent. Uh, Brady knows not to take the Giants lately. We always seem to play him really well. Uh, obviously, they have the two big Super Bowl wins over him, but... I still think the Giants are going to be able to compete with this team, even though I don't feel we're as talented or maybe quite as ready as them. Uh, we do seem to always play Brady well and do always seem to play up to our competition, but just never are able to uh, capitalize at the end. Uh, but they do have a little extra time off. It is going to be on Monday. They played Thursday, so it's almost like a half a bye week. So hopefully they come out fresh and ready to compete. Uh, I have not given up on this team yet. I know with only one win halfway through the season, you should just be looking at draft boards and giving up and thinking about next year. But this division is just so bad that they're not going to kick us away unless we allow it. Um, and once we've given up some of these easier games early in the schedule or some of these games that could have went the other way, some of these games are going to be really tough that looked like losses early on are going to have to be must wins and like have to be competitive games or for us to be turning this around. I think the Giants have been playing some of their best football in the last couple of years, even though they're only 1-6. I do think that they're getting better from week to week. Uh, I hope that continue, that trend continues this week. I'm not saying if we're able to pull off an upset and beat Tampa that we're all of a sudden going to be the division favorites or that we should be uh, getting our, pre our Super Bowl tickets ready. But I do think that we, they are going to put up a better shot than maybe a lot of people think. I do think that the fighting Joe judges aren't going to go out there and quit or be so distraught from the first uh, from their last week or last two weeks, both devastating losses to divisional opponents. Uh, I think they're in the buildings. They know what the standings are and that the Eagles stand atop it with just two wins. And they went toe to toe with them, a team that they think they should have beaten. I imagine. Um, also another big story that came out this week, Kenny Galloway, um, I see a lot of people trying to say just stay away from him. It just reeks of the Leonard Williams deal from last year where you trade for a guy and then you're almost going to be handcuffed to him a little bit even though he's a free agent. Uh, it might force your hand to try and get a franchise tag in it. But I do like the idea of just this front office of being aggressive and still thinking ahead and seeing this schedule and this division as a whole and still saying like whether so it's def by default or not, someone's going to win this division. Why not us? Why not try and help out our young quarterback who doesn't quite have so many weapons? Get him a receiver like Kenny Galloway. Try him out in our system. See how he works with our young quarterback. And if he's good and he works in the system, we will move on forward with an extension. And if not, we kind of wash our hands from it. And not really the type of way you want to be using your draft picks. But personally, I want to see this team get aggressive. I want to see them make moves. Uh, I do think that they're better than their record. Uh, I do think that they're playing some of their better football they've played over the last couple of years once again. And I just think um, Kenny Galloway being here would be a shot on the arm in the locker room and just with the whole team around of going, hey, we're not, we haven't given up on this thing yet. I hope you guys haven't either. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, once again, Mike Nixon, congrats so far. First place halfway through the season. We'll see who has it up by the end. Um, this is the ring itself once again. Replica 1990. 
1986 Giant Super Bowl ring. Uh, this would be his currently if it ended today. Um, but thanks again for checking out the video. I'll see you on the next one, and go Giants.